So, welcome to my video Bad Reports 3.0. Um, so, first off, we have a lot of good changes. I'm with Mason, yet again tonight, because it's Wednesday night. Um, we are at Pandy, as you can see. And tonight is my Tao versus his Eldar. While Mason is actually setting everything up, I just want to go through a couple quick things. Number one, because of YouTube, we are still doing YouTube videos on YouTube. But, we're also going to be... I'm going to be sending these videos up onto Twitch, too, because, well, just to expand, make more money, hopefully. Um, talking about money, we are going to be setting up a Patreon account because we want to actually get some more money, um, some extra money for actually train, and we're not expecting, like, a ton of money to be coming in, so it's going to be, you know, every penny counts, kind of. Um... But we are not going to be playing that much at my place because of school for both of us. Oh well. We got some time. Uh, 13 weeks, is it? Yeah, about 13 more. Yeah, something like that. So we got plenty of time. The other thing is, we're not doing any more proxies, really. Uh, the other thing is, everything is going to be painted. Well, we're trying to. Yeah, we're trying our best, actually. Um, the other thing is, because we have a better camera set up? Well, I got a bigger SD card basically now. We can actually talk more about our tactics, ideal thoughts, and why are we so messed up in the head. You don't want to know that. Yeah, where can, where can we start? Number one. So, that's basically the basic stuff out of the way. Um, so, tonight, to the game. The objective is Field of Glory. Here's the show, everybody. So, I'm guessing it's going to be up here somewhere. Um, then, deployment is this, Mason, we gotta roll to see who, it, who, where everybody is. Alright, whoever rolled highest is automatically player A. I got a five. I got a three. Um, you know what, I'm gonna be this side and that side. Uh, is that player A? Yes, player A. I am player A now. So you're already so player A is on this. Okay. Oh no, it's this side and this side too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Anyway, um thanks. Starts, well, you got lower power levels, so you got the ruse card. Yeah, but hold on. So battle frenzy. It's a twist. Uh that's kind of sucks because I'm Tau and Tau do not want to go into close combat. I'm about to go get the objectives here. Yes, we need to do objectives, but I'm going to show... Th well, Mason, get those objectives out. I'm going to go and show the sexy audience what I have. Done. So, number one, my commander is the red guy because red goes faster. He has an advanced targeting system. He also has a shield generator. And he's also running with a missile pod and a um, burst cannon. Second in command, same thing. They, you know, I'm gonna make this really easy. All my battle suits, um, pl missile pods, plasma rifles, advanced targeting system, shield generators, gun drones. He is my commander, like what I said, and he has the six up funeral pain. Going down, bodyguards, stealth suits, it's two fusion blasters. Sail suits with two fusion blasters. Pathfinder squad with three rail rifles because, well, come on. Why not? Minus four AP. <laughs> Rapid fire. Too bad there's a possibility for a lot of my shit getting evils. Minus four AP. <laughs> <laughs> then I am running with one squad, two squads, three squads of. Fire Warrior? Well, Strike Teams, not Fire Warriors anymore, those Strike Teams. Yeah, close enough. Yeah. Then, way over here, I am got a Hammerhead with the sub munitions and Railgun and Smart Missile System. So much for no tanks. Anyway. You know what? I lied. I'm sorry. I had to get some points filled in, okay? It was either that or not painted broadside. And I don't want to lie to the audience anymore, okay? So, Mason. What do you have? I have two detachments. Okay. The first one that we'll speak of is going to be the battalion detachment, the minimum three troops and two HQs over there. First is my warlord. Whoop. Very nice. Yes, he I is like. Going, he has the, for his little relic, 
He has the special plume on his head that makes him minus one. Minus one what? To hit. Period. Mm. Yay! So I'm hitting you on sixes in close combat. And five, and like, four, was it fives in shooting for a lot of your shit? <laughs> no. Anyway, you know what the rest he does. Anyway, he is the warlord. He is the Baltan a bit. Well, eh, actually, uh, yes. hmm, do I want to be a dick? Yes, I want to be a dick. Rather than the normal Baltan, he's going to, yeah, I'll do the normal Baltan where I pick a unit and they just reroll hits. So he's the warlord. And we have Azurman. Paired him a couple of years ago, but still looks pretty damn good. I haven't done basing on most of these, but oh well. Oh well. It's painted. The special thing about him is he not only has a special dire sword that does wonders. Um, we don't, we can't put that codex on there. But he's got that nice shuriken catapult that he's used to have. Well, kind of. Actually, got nerfed. Never mind. Anyway, he does have shield of grace, which me. Sorry, no, it's actually hand of Asher. Basically, all aspect warriors within a six inches of him automatically get a five up in bolt. In addition, Dire Avengers get a four up in bolt. Hee hee! Ooh! Well. And then, in that detachment as well, just as a basic. This is not a Hawk's Town. It's just the model only comes with one. They're all metal. Yeah. A basic unit of Souping Hawks to give me another plus one leadership on top of the Baltan rules. So everything's basically plus two leadership, which is really nice. And of course, they got their last blasters and shit on their wings and Souping Hawk grenades. Anyway, next part. The Vanguard Detachment for an extra command point is led by Kandros. Very, very nice. Mm -hmm. And he's leading three identical squads of five. Striking Scorpions. Each of them has an Exarch with both a Biting Blade and the Claw. Oh, that's going to be fun. Just in case. Because why the fuck not? Anyway, that is... Oh, uh, I should have, I should mention. The Dire Avengers, now that my eyes are blinded by fla camera flash. The Exarchs here... Where are they? Yeah, here they are. The Exarchs. Basically, the white base's Exarchs have the dual shuriken catapults. The black base here, with the giant sign, has a pistol and a power glaive. And then the other one over here... Whoop, he has... The Dire Sword, and I know that's a catapult, but this is a used model, so that's basically a pistol. Yeah, close enough. That's what you get for buying used, folks. So, that's it for you, right? Yep. Okay, um, we have no cycles, so it's pretty good. We can make this game a little bit faster. Um, yeah, so this is going to be in... Oh, yeah, so we are going to go and put deployment. We're going to do deployment of... Models and objectives right now, so after this cut, we will see what happens. So then fun, I promise you. So, my objective is here. Masons is here. We got a center objective. That is the exact center of the board. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, sail seats are right there. Squad A. Eh, danger close. Got a squad and cover over here for my fire warriors. Yeah, that's my objective. Lots of um, supporting fire right there. So, if, due to the deployment, I start off with an advantage, if I can get first turn, whether for dice roll or stealing the initiative, it's possible for me to get that in my turn, which means I could automatically win if I get that. That's going to be a hell of a long shot for you. It will be, but I just need to do something real on a dice roll. But look, before they forget, I have Inspiring Speech with my Rose. Whee! Pass, automatically pass, which, once again, your Tau, you need it, and with everything being plus one to the attack characteristic, yeah. Hmm. Anyway, so, what's my dice? Give me the Iron Cross! I need six. Fuck. Oh, I got a six. I got first turn. Steal the initiative. So close. Yeah, so 
Um, my movement for turn. Let's see what happens. I did a lot of movement this turn. Look at this. A commander, because he has to be on the field for me to get that. So that's pretty good. Um, I just don't see why I need to move because I have firing lanes. I'm just trying to counter set up where his guy set up for my second command of my battle suits, you know, for reinforcements. But that's a good blob right there. I think I should be fine, hopefully. You're going to need to take out the squad over there and hope I don't reinforce it. Well, we'll see what happens. Only one way to find out. Oh, my shooting piece is done. It's been a while. It's been like over an hour. These guys over here, they open fired or stealthy like. But Mason all of a sudden did lightning reflexes. And I only killed a whopping squad. How many guys? Uh that squad you killed three or four. Right there. Hold that objective. Then after that, this self suit squad over here opened fired at the swooping hawks, which are no longer there, right? Because in all in all honesty, you don't like the extra leadership that they provide. That and hey, guess what? I can drop hand grenades on you. <laughs> Come on, uh, swooping hawks. Co combined fire from. Whoa! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on. But then after that, my pathfinders opened up with more likes on the. To the dead, not the devil suits. My God, the dire ring was up on top. Got three marker likes on them, and well, save a little bit of time between that fire squad, and that fire world squad. I did pretty good actually. I killed nine out of seven shootings. I rolled terribly at five of them, and I rolled wonderfully for the other two. Yeah, because after that, he's gonna die in the morale phase, guaranteed. Aww. But then, this squad over here, if that makes Mason feel any better, into this squad right there. Boop. Uh, saved them all, so lucky you, I guess. Uh, only, yeah, it's only on two rolls I did well. I'm yeah. So. But then, actually, before I forget my um, Battlestick Commander, he actually did a long shot with his um, missile pod system. Killed the Exarch of the Swooping Hawks. Devilfish, I mean, not the Devilfish, the Hammerhead diddly, did diddly squat this turn. Anyway, my turn. Uh, well, I mean, I might have some assaults. Do you really want to assault the Iron Avengers? Yes, I do! Ah! No, I don't. <laughs> Are you sure about this? I hit much easier. Everything's an additional attack. How terrible. And do you remember what happened to your commander last time you assaulted that? Oh, sneaky like. Right here, look at this. Somehow, the striking scorpions came out of the rock. The rock! And somehow this guy gets popped out of nowhere, too. He flew in from the sky. Yeah, anyway. And it's the way it looks like. I, I measured, trust me. Yep. And then over here, these guys popped out of that rock. Well, just they're barely over nine inches. Well, I mean, honestly, they were dressed as palm tree, so. <laughs> Fool the towel. Hey, the towel don't have the best eyesight, okay? Fluff eyes, yes. Yeah. Up here, the Dire Avengers actually moved a little bit. They shuffled around. Yeah, just. I actually got them to shuffle these guys over here. Yes! Anyway, Mason, your psychic phase. Done! Woo! Shooting phase. Let's start this bullshit. Yes, it's my turn now. Yes, no. no. Damn, okay. Well, let's see what happens. Oop, right. hold on, wait. This spooky squad right here. Sorry, my devilfish. Hammerhead, I mean. Close enough. Cause one wound. It was spooky. These guys, sorry, my hammerhead. Cause another wound. Yeah. Yeah, then those scorpions killed one guy, sadly, because of, because of the AP minus three. Over here, I'm actually very surprised. I'm surprised that these guys didn't get decimated. Um, I lost one guy and I got one wound. Between both these squads and Asherman. This squad tried to shoot into them just because, fuck it. Well, I should have had them shoot over here, but oh well. I tried. It didn't do anything anyway. Yeah. 
so they were useless. Well, the fun thing is, because of my twist thing, I'm fearless. Everybody's fearless. Yeah? Just for fun, for S's and G's, for just for this enough. squad. Oh, I would have been fine. I didn't kill enough. Oh. Well. Anyway, time for the charging phase. Woo, this is going to be fun. Oh my god, that was a hell of a long assault phase, just because... Him, the striking scorpions, he got killed in Overwatch. That squad of striking scorpions, I got in the close combat. He, them, failed. Failed. The only reason he got in close combat was because of the Court of the Young King card, which I used. Otherwise, he would not have gotten in there. Yeah. And plus, the effects of it with rerolling ones and this team guy is being in cover. Now, if I had gotten sixes to hit, Oh, that could have been brutal. Yeah, it but... Feas if I had gotten six to hit, that feasibly could have wiped out the squad. <laughs> but at the same time, for the greater good special rule, I killed an Overwatch. You see, like, five, like five guys right there and four guys right there. So, like, yep. nine guys. Yeah. Oh, and this guy. Oh, okay, so ten guys total in Overwatch. Yeah. Granted, I lost three Pathfinders, but... That's it? <laughs> yeah. But now it is my turn, correct? Yeah, this... It seems this game, I just kind of over shit. Well, <laughs> the game's still young, dude. Let's see what happens. I think I'm Ace Knight's sitting over his green first thing, saying because... Bodyguards, second command, deep strike right here. These guys fell back, but it's like Scorpion is pretty spooky. Yeah. To be fair, having one, two, three, four, five squads charge, to have only one make it in, I should have had at least one or two more squads actually make it. Granted, if they were facing my guard, if these were old guards, man, that was a Lumen Rust, it would have been just been right. gone. So, you want to play Tom War? <laughs> well, I've been painting a lot of Gundam models, so possibly. <laughs> well, let's see what happens in my super long shooting phase. Giggity. So, my super cool Gundams that flew in, I actually messed up on their uh, range. So, I actually moved them back a little bit. So, I'm sorry, Mason. <laughs> anyway, yeah, my super cool Gundams shot into... Oh, uh, it was actually the commander and hit the bodyguard trying into the altar. Killed him with all the supporting bu fire, but because of a shimmer, plume, sparkle. Yep, sure, plume. Yeah, that, that can be taken so different diff different ways. <laughs> um, the glitter. Um, sparkly. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Um, sparkles, sparkles. Um, <laughs> yeah, that knocked out a lot of actually hicks, so, oh well. Um, then over here, my commander actually, with his gun drones, did kill the la the Altar of the um, Striking Scorpions. Over here, um, the Fire Warrior, the Strike Squad there, the Hammerhead there, knocked off a couple of wounds off of this guy. So, Karan Russ. Whatever. Um, Fire Strike Squad there killed nobody, but my Cell Sukes killed a couple guys in this squad right here. One of my guys over here killed a couple more guys and caused a wound on the altar. So, it's getting pretty close. I mean, we have to see what's going to happen next. I mean, I need to go kill those. I need to get my ass going next, trying to get some of those objectives. So, yeah. So, Mason. Uh, no, I'm going to go try and actually do some close combat just to hold you up. Okay. What do you want to try to get? Let's see what happens. Because I'm Tao, Tao is here close combat, and he's got a big pointy stick. I'm not going to. I didn't do any charging. But he did do some moving. Yeah. So yeah. Right now he is four inches away from your commander. Well, brilliant, Biatch. They are just barely one inch over from these guys. Yeah, they're going to be a little farther grenades, but 
I basically made them daisy chain, so I have at least some guys over here. And these guys are also over there, so you got two squads to knock off there. Well, these ones I'm not too worried about, but they're still within six, six inches of him. So there's two squads that have his leadership ability, but he also has three up in himself. Mm. Well, it's going to be kind of interesting to see what happens next. Mason, it is your shooting phase. Okay. Yeah. These pro self suit guys. I really like them. We're doing such a great job. But between these guys, the X squad right there, and our. To be fair, they absorbed shots last time I shot at them. Yeah, that was a lot, though. I'll say that. Um, over here, the Scorpions did pretty good, actually. He killed three. And then he killed two. Yeah, he killed two Pathfinders, so. Thank God I'm fearless, right? For you, yeah. Yeah. So when I charge, he'll be able to raw watch. He'll be able to overwatch. They might? Six inches? He's dead. TK. Yes. Oh, so it's from that guy right there, the orange guy right there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, okay. You might want to save it for... No. Well, it, well, we'll see what happens, okay? We'll see. So, I'm going to kill all those guys. I bet I will. I know I will. So, as you can see, a Phoenix Lord got shot point blank by a railgun shot. A solid, solid shot. shot. Now, Mason messed up really bad because he thought he... he Every hit. other Phoenix Lord oh, yeah. has an involved save of some kind. Not Kandros, apparently. Well, what the fuck? Like, I no, no, he's a stealth guy. He's obviously okay. Rack no. Is always no. There to smash it makes you feel any better, though. You did kill six guys in the squad with those striking scorpions. I would have preferred to kill this, these guys. Yeah. But if it also makes you feel any better, um, I killed one of those striking scorpions in close combat. How would that make me feel better? I don't know. <laughs> but... Pretty much, the game is, is wow. I have the advantage in terms of objectives. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this objective this game because of that one round of Overwatch that you had. I think that's the problem. Which well, literally you said killed basically three squads. But here's the thing, I have to go basically. through Ozara Vangros and a Phoenix Lord. Uh, you only have to get one object, one of these objectives. That's it. Well, I would have to crawl through this to get to that one and outnumber you with these three guys, which are probably going to get whittled down to zero in the next shooting phase. Or Overwatch. No, I think it's the next shooting phase. Yeah. So these guys are probably dead, which means I have to hold that. And even if I, with the daisy chain on the 4-up invul, it's probably not going to happen. I'm probably going to end up losing that. Well, Mason, there's only one way to find out, right? Well, unless I get your the rolling luck that you had first turn, and you get the rolling luck that I had first turn. That'd be the only way. <laughs> well, let's see what happens, dude. Yeah, so these guys got scared, so they actually um, ran towards enemy lines. Instead of away, I I, the, I don't know. I I honestly don't know. Oh. Anyway, where's those uh, cards? What? Where's the uh, mission cards? Uh, over there actually. Um, so my hammerhead actually parked on the objective because well, I don't know why because I can. Shit. Commander moved up. Yeah, I think so. Battle suit. The bodyguards and the second command moved up. Celtics moved up. I have to kill these guys. I have to. So now it is the shooting phase. Shooting's done, and as you can see, the pincer got some people actually. It's pretty nasty. So between all these guys, they actually didn't get to fire. So it's basically all these guys right here. Um, the drones actually killed a lot of the dire rangers. So um, then I did. The Pathfinders, they fought the rail rifles, thank god they were rapid fire. Some mortal wounds, and yeah, they got blown a bit. So uh -huh. um Barely, sadly still got it. Sadly, sadly. This guy's still alive. Well, 
for you, but not for... Yeah, um, so he shot his fusion blaster against him, and he hit, but he failed to wound. No, he got a wound, but he got his save. Because yep, he has specifically a three-up in... Oh, sorry, no, it's a three-up in... Well, they still be. They got like a yeah. five. Yeah, I got a five. He's got a four up or a three up, depending on what, if it's close combat or uh, shooting. shooting. Then over here, this squad, the sniper squad, almost basically, they killed like a couple Tyler Avengers. That's really it. So four up against uh, range, three up against melee. Okay. So you need to shoot him, not melee him. Okay. Who am I playing? <laughs> How many times? How many times have Four I? <laughs> how many times? Okay, well. <laughs> You're playing corn demons. Okay, that makes complete sense. <laughs> um. You're like, wait, what? Sadly, I'm some Dire Rings is more alive because I really wanted to get in close combat right over here, but. You wanted to get to the objective. Yeah. Um. See, and then. No close combat, so it's uh, amazing turn. This turn, my turn three now, right? Yeah. My turn three, and I'm already almost dead. Okay, let's well, do this shit. This will be fun. Azurman, advancement with the Dire Avengers up here to, so that they could get down here. I still have one command point left, but I'm thinking I'm going to need that in the next turn. Well, why? Because uh, they're going to end up doing some shooting and some assaulting, because, well, fuck it, why not? So, let's get this shit going. Well, it's going to be fun. So, first is Azurman shooting at... The shooting, oh my god, this camera. Was pretty eventful because he actually did diddly squat over here. With the two up top because I split fire. And then these guys, oops, close enough, shot into those douche nuggets. And I killed, what, two? Two and a half? Two and one wound. Two and one wound, okay. Well, Mason? It's time to assault. This is going to be fun, like always. Azurman assaulting the bodyguard squad. Oh, boy. Watch this, guys. Yeah, I know this is not, the combat phase is not done, but we, Mason wants me to sh show everybody this. This is from the gun drones. This is for Overwatch. This and, is many sixes. And this is how he's been rolling for all his, his Overwatches, pretty much. Well, I guess my guys are not trained in um, regular shooting, but Overwatch shooting. Anyway, and watch this, this is going to be all fails to wound. Well, so Mason, he actually did pretty good. I'm going to give him credit. Got in close combat. This was the one time my dice actually did well. I got ended up getting five hits because I also used the Supreme Disdain, which gave me an extra attack. And then to wound, I got three sixes to wound, which with that sword, each six gives D3 mortal wounds in addition to any other damage. And so, I got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six mortal wounds. So I soaked them off based on the gun drones. And had two well, remaining. Got, yeah. The, and the two remaining went on this body guard right there, so. So that was a total of, let's uh, see, so I basically dealt one, two, three, two, three. So it's essentially nine wounds that he dealt. Well, minus whatever stuff yeah. he got. So he did rather well. He did. If I, he's actually better in close combat than he is in shooting. Yeah. He's supposed to be the king of the balance to be able, between close combat and shooting, but he's better in close combat. What the fuck? Hmm. Well, that was it for close combat, so shooting time. I mean, uh, you mean movement for you to fall back with fly and shooting shit? You're correct about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as um, I completely horrify the man behind the camera. <laughs> yeah, and I've seen I've seen some stuff, man. <laughs> You've also heard some shit from me. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so um self suit over here actually advanced over here because honestly Hi. if I can kill these two guys on top or at least one yeah um I'm good I can actually go and actually hold that objective my battle suits actually fell back because I fly I flew away 
but they're all in close combat. Not close combat. <laughs> they flew to close combat. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> holding the objective. No more over here moved because of lazy. Now it is my shooting phase. This could be my last shooting phase, I bet. There's only one way to find out, boys. So at the end of the shooting phase, my commander actually did a headshot on whatever the heck his Phoenix Lord's name is. Usherman. Yeah, let's go with that. He did have some help with a solid shot. Well, yeah, that did help a teeny bit. And missiles. Yeah, it did help and a lot. And rails. Yeah, it did help. And marker light. Sure. Oh, the marker light didn't help. Over here, between burst cannons, fusion blasters, these guys right here, knocked everybody out except two. Let's see. I lost... Eight. They're plus... That's all... I can, if I make it one, they live. If I don't make one, well, yeah, they're all dead. Whee! Oh, come on, you couldn't roll a one like the rest of the game? <laughs> <laughs> So, is How many dice does it take for me to roll a one? <laughs> <laughs> so is one dead? No, oh, then that's everybody then. Ah, I wanted to get in close combat, so <laughs> We can roll it for giggles, but they're dead. Oh, uh, so that's the game, dude. What do yep. you think? I mean, honestly, that was... Let's see. Oh, for those of you at home, the way I made this list is I pre-made it last week. But I have two Phoenix Lords. And then I gave the guy behind the camera a choice of what he wanted to fight. So we had ninjas and jerk him. You know what the funny thing is? Last night I was actually half-assing this list. Like, okay, so I actually made a 15 horn point list, and that actually had uh, more um, self, more battle suits, but that's the normal thing. Right, but after I was almost 450, I was like, I gotta drop some stuff. Yeah, at the same time with Eldar, it's about what you bring. Well, the thing and is... And for this game, like I said, it's that... It was that turn one. The turn one, that overwatch, the greater good. Every, basically, the game was decided turn one. Yes, like what I said before, the greater good, that really saved my ass because... It either turn one, either it could have gone my way significantly, could have gone your way significantly, which it did. Or it could have gone somewhere in the middle. But see, like, honestly, what I would have done, I think that was a good list if they were fighting, like, my guard or oh, chaos. Oh, guard, yo, yes. But, like, if I knew if I knew I was fighting Tau ahead of time before I made the list and gave you an option, I'd be like, Banshees, Dark Creepers. Done. <laughs> yeah, because, honestly, that... <laughs> because, honestly, Banshees... There would have been something else, but like the other thing was like I think because, that because you gotta keep in mind I can also use a strategy called Webway for one or three command points. Basically, you have anybody deep strike. Yeah. So I can have Fire Dragons deep strike. I can have Banshees deep strike. Yeah, without Overwatch, that can be bad. Yeah, and depends on like honestly, if that was the case, I would have deployed everything a little bit more spread out. Because that way I won't have to worry about getting multi-combated. Oh yeah, but I'm worried about the objective. Yeah, so the objectives I think you place, I think for you I'll have done the same thing if I was in your deployment zone, because seeing bunk stuff like that would have helped. But when I saw that out, when I saw the um, deployment, I was like, well, if I'm in the middle, he might, he's going to just attack me. Oh yeah. For force right there, I'm going to be bunched up. He's got a multi-assault me, and I'm screwed. I didn't want a multi-assault. Actually, it would have been pointless, too, because I needed everything to be on that center. Well, I'm just saying, if I was in the center, if we switch, switch deployments. Oh, if we had swapped deployments, huh? Then, yeah, I would have had to gang up on you. And... Well, the other thing I was saying while doing was actually putting the objective or here behind the rocks, this rock formation. But I thought, no. That would have actually prevented a lot of your shooting. Yeah. Because can you overwatch some? Yeah, you can't overwatch something that you don't have line of sight to. But you can charge through it somehow. Which doesn't make any sense. Welcome to Warhammer, enough said. Oh, you mean like... 
Oh, for those of you at home, let's go around here. When I, I had two dire avengers here and about two or three down here, he shot one of these guys, one of these guys died. <laughs> these guys shot into the one of the two that were remaining. More of these guys died. <laughs> Because that's how the rule set works these days. What do you think about the Eldar stratagems now that I've actually really used them? They are, they can be kind of devastating. I mean, honestly, I do want to start using more stratagems, but the thing is, like, for Tau, we don't really have any other than yeah, like that. don't have any other than, actually, do you have anything that's in the... Chapter approved? Yeah. I don't really think so. Relicron's got something, Imperial Knight's got something, Necron's Orcs, Tau Empire. Uh, you have one. Oh my god, what is this? Uplink to Marker Light. Uh, use a stratagem after an enemy unit has been hit by a Marker Light, which you didn't really do this game. Uh, see, so fired by a model from your army. Place D3 plus one Marker Light counters onto it instead of one. Mm. Uh, you could have had the pure type. Pure Tide Engram Neuro Chip, which is a relic, which any one of your characters can take a relic for free, so fuck it, you could have. Uh, let's see, basically once per battle, reroll a single hit, uh, wound or damage roll for the bearer or a friendly sept unit within six inches. If it's battle forged, roll d6 every time you use the stratagem on six unit and command point back. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean. At least the uplinked marker light would have been good. But I think with marker lights, in all honesty, is having D three plus one. But like the only thing like I would really use would be if I got five marker lights somehow, and I marker lighted up maybe like a unit. Yeah, it's really hard to kill. Like if they were like. But at the same time, you gotta admit they did need a nerf. <laughs> Marker lights did need a nerf from the last edition. Yeah, or like the f third edition where they were like insanely crazy, but... Or, or was, was that fifth? Was it fifth edition or was it, you get get one marker light hit and all of a sudden people are hitting you on twos? Yeah. Yeah, marker lights did need a nerf. Oh well, but... Everything uh, was decided by essentially dice rolls on turn one. Yeah. Game. It's just how the dice go. Yeah, but I think at the end of the day, that was a good game. Hopefully this video is going to be the step forward to a new better series. Um, so guys, please... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let's go with that. Uh, please, please subscribe for more videos and um, I'm going to do a link below my Twitch and if I do get around to do a Patreon account, I will do that also below. So, till later, guys. God, I need to make a tag like shit. Meow. Meow.